This is a high security lock used by the government. Pretty, this is an interesting project we got involved with. This is a small casting relatively for Batesville products and for the permanent mold process. But the issue was the volume wasn't high enough for die casting. Sand casting couldn't get it done, couldn't create the detail we needed. Uh, the other thing is there were some casting issues that we were able to address and attack. I don't know if you can see this, but you got some thick sections in here. Thick sections in a casting create issues of shrink, which on the outside of the part looks like porosity. It's just nasty looking. So we have to be able to feed the cavity, be able to fill it up, and then as it cools, handle it in such a way that it doesn't have a, a shrink area. And you can see it's a very aesthetic part. It's a lock. And the other thing we were able to do is they came to us, they came back to us and said, well, can you guys supply a complete? So we went outside the box a little bit and we actually did the complete assembly, which includes uh, circuit boards, uh, different types of servos, uh, a lot of electronics, a lot of stuff inside it. And we were able to supply these folks. Uh, they, can't, they couldn't sheet metal fabricate this because of all of the different geometry inside. If you can see there, there's a bunch of bosses, different heights, different, different angles. I want to say in the neighborhood of three to 500 of these a month for several years. We are experts in aluminum castings.